Welcome to the Black Money Minute. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins, and I want to tell you guys about this interesting story of a woman named Jennifer Harris. Jennifer was an employee of FedEx. Uh, she was on the fast track. She was doing a great job, getting promoted like crazy. And then, out of the blue, after 12 years of service, her boss asked her to take a demotion, claiming that she was too good at what she did, which is kind of weird that you would be asked to take a demotion if you're too good at what you do. Well, uh, Jennifer obviously said, no, I'm not taking a demotion because it's not <laughs> like, why would I take a demotion when I'm good at my job? And she says that's when she started getting mistreated. That's when she thought she felt that she was being harassed. Uh, there was a lot of retaliation. So Jennifer didn't complain. She went to, she did go to HR and let them know what's going on. And then she filed a lawsuit. Well, after she filed the lawsuit, the court ruled that the, that FedEx was in the wrong and they awarded Jennifer $360 million. It's a lot of money, a lot of money. Well, it kind of says maybe instead of complaining, maybe you should call your lawyer if you're being mistreated. Uh, about 95% of the students in the black business school who had jobs have experienced some degree of racial discrimination on the job. So there are ways to kind of fight back. Now, this suit is going to be appealed by FedEx, and you never know what the final amount's going to be. And getting the judgment is very different from actually collecting on the judgment. That can be a little bit tough. However, it looks like she might actually have enough money where she'll never have to work for FedEx or anybody else again. Well, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. If you'd like to learn more about wealth and investing and become a part of what we're doing, visit BoyceWatkins.com. I'd love to help you out. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.